All right, uh, this used to be a camera. <laughs> um, yeah, it's orange in color. I my my daughter's favorite color. I don't know if it still is or not. Was orange. She moved to the uh, Netherlands. But um, yeah, this is a camera that I bought her for some Christmas years and years ago. Um, I was doing a lot of photography at the time, and of course, she wanted a camera. So um, yeah, so I've taken it apart. Um, it did require me to take off a bunch of screws and then use a spudger tool to sort of open it up. Um, there's going to be a PC board with the logic on it, so that needs to come out. Then there's a lens assembly. It has all the optic stuff in it, so we'll have to open that up. Uh, here you can see some ribbon cables. We'll take those off and then... So here's a little assembly that has the uh, CMOS imager. Pull that out. We'll put that under the microscope and see, uh, see what that chip looks like. Uh, it'd be easy to lose, but there's a little thin filter in there. That is the, uh, the UV Viz filter, ultraviolet and visible light. It, um, cuts out any infrared light and cuts out any ultraviolet light and passes, uh, uh, visible light. That's the filter you remove if you want your CMOS imager to see more into the IR. It's not going to see very deep. It'll see maybe up to uh, 1,100 nanometers, but uh, nothing past that, maybe 1,000 nanometers. Okay, so the uh, rest of it is the lens parts, which is some motors that uh, do a couple things. Uh, one of the motors, I think, runs the um, autofocus and one of the motors runs the zoom and lens retraction. That's all done with cams. There's one little lens element in the back that uh, is a field flattener. And that goes right next to the uh, CCD. All right, I've got the uh, PC board underneath the microscope here. And it looks like there's a Zoran chip that does all the magic. Uh, I'm not familiar with uh, those chips um, for cameras and stuff. Used to design camera chips in the way back days, but uh, they've gotten really fancy these days. Uh, looks like there's some memory and a bunch of support chips that I have no idea what all the support chips are doing. But here's the CMOS imager. It's, it's uh, very nice looking. I mean, that's the heart of the camera, right? You gotta Got to have that nice. Um, the colors that are on the image sensor are due to the fine pitch of the pixels creating diffraction and those creating colors. Let's move it under a high power microscope, uh, my Olympus. All right, so you can see the bond wires on the chip and a little insignia there. It looks like this is a Sony IC. Uh, an ICX801, whatever that is. <laughs> and uh, if we go into even a higher magnification, we can start to see the RGB pixels in a Bayer pattern, B-A-Y-E-R, um, where you have twice as many greens as reds and blues. Um, and then, uh, sorry about the dust on the, uh, on the image here because of uh, the high magnification. So Sony makes the best image sensors in the world, just hands down. They, they've got the best stuff. Almost forgot to show you the uh, anti-shake mechanism. So this last um, lens element here, all right, we had three lens elements. We had the, the big one in the front, and then we had the middle one, which kind of does most of the zooming stuff. And then we had this little one in the back that does most of the focusing stuff. So it's mounted on a little post and it moves in and out with a, with a stepper motor. So that does the focus. But it's also mounted on this plate. And it's kind of hard to see here. All right, but there's this plate that moves around. And if we turn that plate over, okay, what we see is some, we see some magnets. Okay, those are two, uh, magnets. And those two magnets go on top of these two coils. 
and they're like voice coils. So you can imagine that these are linear motors. They're like a speaker and one can move in the X direction and one can move in the Y direction. And so when the camera is running, it's running like a video camera and uh, it's taking frames all the time and it's comparing those frames and it's watching pieces of the image and it can watch and follow things. And if it's going in this direction, then it knows to take the lens and move it in that direction. So as you're shaking the camera, it's, it's keeping that lens centered on, on, on the thing you're taking a picture of up to a certain point. But yeah, there's one coil there, one coil there. And then we got the, the two, uh, oops, sticking to my tweezers. And we got the two magnets. So that's the way the, uh, that's the way the anti-shake thing. And then uh, we got the two, the two motors. This is the little uh, stepper motor that does the focus in and out. And this is a bigger motor that does the uh, uh, zoom function. Where we're actually moving all those lens elements in and out. All right, there you go. That was a teardown of an old Nikon Coolpix uh, camera that my daughter had. And I hope you enjoyed it or learned something.